Ron, do you have any uh, thoughts, any areas of interest that you see, any sort of exciting developments? Exciting for me is the, the amount of discussions that we're having around ETFs today. Um, you know, when we, we got into this space in, in 09, uh, I'd say probably for the first five years, if I spoke to somebody once a quarter or once six months, you'd be, that would be a good sort of time frame. Now there's almost every week somebody's going up to discuss ETS, how they can leverage that in uh, in their existing product lineup, uh, launching a new product lineup with ETS. Um, so there's definitely a lot of buzz around uh, the space. Uh, I, I think they think it's a perfect vehicle to attract certain types of investors. Uh, it's a lower cost model as well. Um, so it, it's definitely you're, you're seeing more existing fund managers looking at ETS as a vehicle to attract assets. Uh, so it's no longer I'm worried about cannibalizing my existing business. It's about how do we marry the two together. Um, and so, you know, we spend a lot of our time uh, speaking to the prospects, existing clients, uh, educating them on the space. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it, the, the fact that there's it's in the news, um, you guys do a great job of getting that information out. Thank you. There's, there's so much out there on ETFs that it, it's actually starting to sort of get a lot of, uh, I wouldn't call it hype, but a lot of uh, interest. And I think that's just better for the, the overall market. Um, investors need low cost, good product that's out there and ETFs help sort of address those needs. One of the interesting trends is the, is the shift of value away from the issuer to the advisor putting more value on the advisor and more value on on the advisor's role. Uh, I mean, with Vanguard, they have their advisor alpha. Yeah. Um, one of the interesting quotes from uh, the Inside ETFs conference uh, was uh, Matt Hogan saying basically that expenses are the new alpha. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it, you, you imagine if you're if if as an investor you're you're reducing your overall costs um, by 100 basis points. Like over a lifetime, that's that's huge. Um, so you know, I, I think with CRM two and more uh, visibility to what the cost of what you're paying your advisor, the cost of owning uh, product, um, it'll make a, a difference. Um, and hopefully, in, investors will take advantage of the, the the visibility of costs and what the compounding of returns does from a, a savings perspective and a returns perspective. Um, gone, I, I think gone are the days of are huge returns. Um, so uh, if you don't have these huge returns, you gotta you got to save somewhere. And that, I think, is on the cost side of, of ownership. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's important for investors to understand that component and realize that if, if you can't get the same returns that you were getting before, then you, you need to find a, a lower cost a vehicle to get you um, better returns. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of pressure uh, in the media. There's certainly a lot of, I mean, a lot of pressure um, for the issuers to get on side with that movement. Yeah, and I, th I think they are. Uh, I think there's, you see a lot of free pressure um, across the board. You even see existing retail mutual funds looking to to reduce their fees. Um, and I, I think ETFs sort of help move that shift to um, reducing fees overall. Um, so that's that's a good thing, you know. Anything that uh, improves the, the end product for an investor is, is a good thing. Um, you'll see, I th you know, and I, I think you'll start seeing probably more consolidation. We've talked about consolidation, but, you know, the, the likelihood that um, standalone ETF providers will 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 continue um, to be self-sufficient. Will it'll be interesting. Uh, you look at the 29 that we have today, and only five of them are pure ETF only. Um, they all the right. rest of them all have some sort of fund closed end uh, investment fund type uh, arm or, mm -hmm. or products out there. Uh, so I think what you'll start seeing is, you know, more fund managers getting into the space and whether they do that through acquisition or, or adding product, 
um, is where we go. I don't think we'll see us capping out uh, at, at 30. Uh, yeah, I think we'll right. continue to see more providers come into the space. It just they won't be so reliant just on the ETF growth. They'll have a, an overall arching business line that will probably span mutual funds, uh, institutional high net worth ETFs. They're just going to come out with a, a product suite that just meets as many investors' needs as possible. Well, more competition will be great for investors. Ron, thank you very much for sharing your perspective from the center of the ETF space. Thank you.